Hello, hello, YouTubers. Um, so today I want us to look at electricity once again, Ohm's law. And we are going to be looking at a combination of circuits uh, that have um, resistors in parallel as well as resistors in series. So if you haven't subscribed, please uh, do the right thing. And um, by the way, uh, you can just throw questions on the, uh, on the comment section. If you need to get in touch with me, please uh, just uh, my email address. You'll find it uh, also on the comment section or on the um, on my profile. OK, so um, quickly, let's have a look at this uh, question. Right. So here it is. You've got resistors or rather a circuit that has got a combination of resistors. So first of all, um, remember what we said. We said we're always going to look at resistors. Right. The first thing that we're going to look at in a circuit is that we need to first analyze a circuit. So we know that current always moves from the uh, positive side. OK, that's uh, that's what we call conventional current. Right. So we know that current. All right. Will move from this. So we know the total current will actually move from the battery into this resistor here. Right. So we know, let's say, OK, in this particular case, we've got I total. OK, so we've got the total current moving there. Right. Up until we get to this point over there, this node. Remember, we said a node um, is where uh, different conductors meet. Right. So in this case, uh, what are we going to have? We're going to now experience a division of current so it means that current is going to divide right so some of the current is going to go over there all right and some of the current will follow that path over there okay let's say the current that goes across there let's call it i1 for the sake of consistency right so let's say the current that goes there is uh, current i1 okay let me just move over to this side okay so the current moving over there is i1 and let's say the current moving on this here is I2, right? So what does that tell us? Okay, so current divides over here. So some of the current goes uh, in resistor, uh, the 12 ohm resistor, and some of the current goes across the 12, uh, the 4 ohm resistor rather, right? So what does that say to us? It says these resistors must be in parallel, okay? Right. And please, I want you to note, nothing changes from what we said in our previous uh, um, lessons. Right. What do we know about resistors in parallel? We said resistors in parallel. We simply know that um, and the voltage is the same. So in this particular case, I know that the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor should be the same as the voltage across the 12 ohm resistor. Right. So if that voltage is the same. All right. So it means in this particular case, even if I were to take those resistors and make them into one and find the effective parallel resistance, the voltage across that effective resistance when I make them into one would still be the same as the voltage across each individual resistor in parallel. OK, so now um, what are we given for this particular circuit? So I want you to note, OK, um, in this particular case, we've got um, 10 uh, V1 that is given as 10.8 volts, right? So they've given us the voltage across the battery. Now, remember what we said previously. We said you always take voltage with its corresponding resistance, right? So in this case, I know which resistor corresponds, by the way, with the, um, with the voltage that's given there. So this voltmeter here measures across my battery but which resistor is the battery supplying all right so what is the battery supplying it's supplying the entire circuit can you see that right so now this tells us all right so it means that if i'm going to use that voltage there it must correspond i must use it with the entirety with the resistance of my entire circuit OK, so in that case, and if you look at V2 there, all right, so what is V2? It would be the voltage only across the 4 ohm resistor. OK, so as a result, remember, because 4 ohm is in, is in parallel with the 12 ohm, so it means that the voltage V2 should be the same voltage uh, across the 12 ohm resistor. OK, right now, 
what do we do with that particular with, with the, the six ohm resistor notice which current is passing there i total right so if it's i total and it's i1 and i2 it means we cannot say that the six ohm resistor is in series with a 12 ohm resistor why is that because it's not the same current that passes across both of them can you see that right however um oh, oh uh, again you cannot say that six ohm is in series with the six uh, with the four ohm resistor why because it's not the same current that passes across both of them okay so now it means that we're going to have to do something uh, with those resistors there okay let's see what we are going to do so remember what are we given first we're given that the 10.8 uh, i mean the, the reading on v1 is 10.8 so we know our value there for v1 is 10.8 okay so that's 10.8 volts there okay uh okay you can't see that clearly so that's 10.8 volts there okay so uh, now we want to find the value of a2 now note we know total current is going to branch here but when we get to this note what happens both i2 and i1 okay are going to actually meet at this point and now which current is going to be moving out here definitely the combination of both of them which is i total okay so as a result i know that it will be the total current that passes across i2 now we said every time that we look at circuits we're going to always start um, where we've got the most information and where do we have the most information we've got v1 is 10.8 right so now what i'm going to do to answer the first question now please i want you to note this okay i am going to try and get the total resistance in my circuit why because you said that voltage there is actually supplying the entire circuit so it means that voltage goes with all of the resistors combined in my circuit right let's start with our, uh, our parallel resistors we said how do you get uh, the effective parallel resistance you say one over r parallel that's one over r1 plus one over r2 okay but remember this is one over 12 plus one over four okay remember this is equal to one over r parallel right so when we add uh, um, both of them okay so we get that one over r parallel um, i get a value of one over three right so remember then you take the inverse of it so it means that my r parallel would be equal to three ohms okay right now i know that my resistors in parallel give me an effective resistance of three ohms so what have we effectively done it means now we've got a circuit with a six ohm resistor okay as well as a three ohm resistor so it means I've taken the combination of those two and they have now given me that one resistor there, which is three ohms. All right. Now I want you to note something. So now we know I total is passing across that six ohm resistor. Can you see? Right. Now, when I've combined these two and made them into one resistor, which current now passes here? Right. I want you to please note now there's no other option but for the total current to pass through that three ohm resistor okay so as a result i want you to note in this case it means that total current passes across six ohm total current passes across the three ohm resistor what can i therefore say about these two resistors i'm sure you got it by now it means that they must be in series so it means that my r total okay is going to be the series combination of that resistor there plus let's call it r parallel okay so it means that six plus three which gives me nine ohms okay so it means in my whole circuit the effective resistance in my circuit is actually nine ohms okay right now let's have a look how are we going to now calculate the value of the current there a2 okay so i've got the total voltage we said voltage must always be with its corresponding resistance isn't it 
right so now to get that i total there i'm going to say i total is going to be i'm applying ohm's law v over r but which voltage it's going to be the total voltage divided by its corresponding resistance which is in this case the total resistance so that's going to be 10.8 divided by what is my r total value we found that to be 9 ohms okay and then uh, let's just pick up our calculator so that's going to be 10.8 divided by 9 and we get a value of 1.2 amperes okay so it means that our total current in this case or the value of on a2 is 1.2 amperes okay right so now what am i going to uh, do on further right so now the next question says to me calculate the voltage v2 okay so the voltage v2 is the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor can you see that all right so now um do i have the current across the 4 ohm resistor that is i1 no i don't okay so i couldn't use i1 multiplied by r there right okay but we also know that the voltage across the 4 would be the same as the voltage across the 12 ohm resistor right why because they're in parallel so um if i have the value of v2 do i have the value of v2 no so in this case i need to just make sure uh, i mean uh, not v2 rather at uh, i2 so i don't have the value of i2 either right so in this case i cannot say i2 multiplied by that resistor there right however please keep this in mind we said in parallel voltage is the same isn't it so that means that even when i take the combination of those two resistors right and in this case um, if I take the combination of those two resistors, it means the voltage there should be the same as the voltage there, but it also should be the same as the voltage across that parallel, uh, that effective parallel resistance, isn't it? Right? So now, can do I know the current passing across this uh, 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 resistor here, the effective parallel resistance? Of course I do, right? What is my resistance? Okay, uh, the resistance would be 3. Okay, I'm just going to write it on this side. Okay, so for my number two, I'm going to just simply say, all right, so it's going to be V2. I'm looking for the value of V2, but remember it's the same voltage here. So V2 should be equal to, remember, which current is passing across the 3 ohm resistor. Of course, it's I total, right? Total current multiplied by the resistance, okay? In this case uh, are parallel all right so um what is my value it's going to be 1.2 remember we find we found the uh, uh, total current to be 1.2 multiplied by the effective parallel resistance which is uh, 3 ohms and in this case this is going to give us 3.6 volts all right so the battery is supplying us with 10.8 but we find that we are using 3.6 volts only across our parallel resistance okay parallel resistors so now i want you to please note so it means that the value of v2 this is the same voltage across the 4 it's the same voltage across the 12 and it's the same voltage uh, across the parallel the effective resistance there uh, that is in parallel can you see that okay i hope you are uh, getting it okay so um the next question so we found the value of v2 to be 3.6 by the way we know that resistors in series they always um share the voltage isn't it they are voltage dividers so i found that the value of uh, the voltage there is 3.6 right and we are given 10.8 so where's the rest of that voltage that's supplied okay remember the total voltage that's supplied must be used across the circuit if i'm supplied with 10.8 i must use 10.8 across my circuit and as a result it means that if i use 3.6 there right where's the rest of that voltage of course it should be across the 6 ohm resistor so you can get that uh, you can find that for yourself okay right so the third question 
I want to find out, okay? What is the current A1, okay? Now, please note, we said the current divides when it gets to this node here, right? Some of the current goes across the 12 ohm, and some of the current goes across the 4 ohm resistor, right? So now, I know that the current across A1 that, that passes through a, a, a emitter A1 is the same current that passes across the 4 ohm resistor. Can you see? So in this case, do I know the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor? Of course, of course. We just found the voltage there in parallel, right? So now I know I can simply say I1 is equals to V2 divided by my resistor there, the 4 ohm resistor. So as a result, what is going to be my V2 value? That's 3.6 divided by 4 ohms. Okay, let's take our calculator there. So that's 3.6 uh, divided by 4. And that gives us 0 0.9 amperes. So that's 0 0.9 amperes. Right. And, and by the way, just to prove what we, we, we said previously, right? Just to prove what we said. We said when resistors are in parallel, more current goes where there is less resistance, isn't it? Now look at this. We had 1.2 amperes of current in total. Okay. And we know when the current divides here, more current will go where there's less resistance, right? So four, uh, more current will go across the four ohm resistor. So as a result, that simply means that uh, um, 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 more current will go across the four ohm resistor. That's, that, that will show us, by the way, that less current um, will go across the 12 ohm resistor. So I, I just want you to note there that, I mean, look, of the 1.2 amperes of current that we had, right? 0 0.9 amperes actually passed across the 4 ohm resistor. So that should tell you um, that uh, that was more current there. Okay, right. So um, I hope you, you were able to understand the circuit and my explanation of it. Uh, we'll do some more circuits um, as we go along. Uh, I hope that uh, was very understandable. Right. Uh, if you need to, um, uh, if you have questions rather, uh, you're more than welcome to just throw a comment or you can um, uh, get in touch with me on my email. That's mlungisi.m.ngosi at gmail.com. Thank you and it's goodbye for me for now. Shop shop.